Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're not having an option presented in System Preferences where it allows you to download apps from non-app store or identified developers. So if you just want to allow all apps, which I'm not necessarily saying I recommend or don't recommend, but if you are maybe an indie developer for whatever reason and you want to go ahead and actually allow your computer to install these apps, well, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So we're going to add another option down there. In order to do that, we're going to go ahead and close out of here. And we're going to go open up the spotlight icon, top right corner of the menu bar. And you want it to search for terminal. I'm going to go ahead and open up that. should be the best result. And you want to just make sure you type it exactly how it appears on my screen here. So if you want to restore the option, the only difference is going to have the word disable at the end and if you wanted to hide it again or undo what we did you would just set it to enable and I'll show you guys what I mean by that in a second but we're just gonna go ahead and actually restore that button first so we're gonna type in sudo s u d o space s p c t l space minus sign minus sign master minus sign disable if you wanted to ever re-enable that or hide it, you would just switch to disable to enable. You wouldn't change anything else. Again, that's just if you want to undo what we're doing here. But again, this is going to restore that option, what we have typed out here. I'm going to hit enter to run that. And you will have to enter in your password to your computer, which I am going to go ahead and type in. And there you go, that should be it. So if I were to minimize out of here, and we're gonna open up system preferences again and select security and privacy. And you can see under the general tab where it says allow apps downloaded from, the option to anywhere is automatically selected now. And if you want to click the lock to make changes, you can. But you can see it has been re-enabled or visible again once we did that. So again, very straightforward process, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.